dance called Speed the Plough, which was a hornpipe popular in the early years of the Australian colony. It is a lively English country dance in long way sets. We start with a line of men facing a line of ladies, with the top of the set being closest to the musicians. Any number of couples can join. It is normally danced several times through, often seven times. Each time through, each couple dances with a different couple. After each repetition, the couples all move on to a new couple, up or down the set. The couples moving down the set are called the first couples, and the couples moving up the set are called the second couples. To help identify first and second couples, the dancers join hands in circles of four people, starting at the top. Couples closer to the top are first couples. Couples closer to the bottom are second couples. Now all the dancers fall back to their sidelines, ready to start the dance. The dance starts with all first couples turning away from each other and dancing down the outside of their own lines. Then they turn away from each other and dance back to the place where they started. All four people join right hands to go once round to the star going clockwise. Turning inwards, they now take left hands to the star and go back the other way to their starting place. All first couples take hands with their partner and dance down the centre of the set. Notice how all second couples move up one place while this is happening. The first couples now lead up, ending in second place. Everybody facing inward, set right and left, and right and left. All join hands in a circle of four people and go once around to the left. The dance starts again with all first couples turning away from their partners and going down the outside of the set. The couple now at the top of the set are inactive. They were a second couple but now do not have a first couple to dance with. Next time through the dance, they will join in again as a first couple. By the end of each time through the dance, couples 1 and 2 will have exchanged places. This happens when the second couple moves up. So in this, the second time through the dance, everybody is dancing with a new couple. And the couple that was inactive at the bottom is now an active second couple. On the third time through the dance, the couple at the top who had been inactive throughout the second iteration joined in as an active first couple. First couple stays first couple each time through the dance, dancing with a different second couple each time. Notice how the first couple who started right at the top are now well down the set. The couple at the foot of the set is inactive. They were a first couple. Next time through the dance, they will be a second. This pattern is repeated as often as required. There are often seven iterations, but the precise number may be influenced by the number of couples and the energy and enthusiasm of musicians, dancers, and callers. The hornpipe step hop step is used in the first three figures of the dance. It follows the pattern, step on the right, hop on the right, step on the left, hop on the left. Close the left foot next to it and step down on the right again. Then step on the left, close the right to it and step on the left. Do this all again. Right close right. Slip step 
is used in the circle. It is a series of steps to the left with the right foot closing beside it. All three steps are light and springy, danced on the balls of the foot but not on the heels. Thank <laughs> you.